My name's Philip Straub. I'm uh, Executive Vice President of the Aviation Division at Garmin. Garmin has allowed me to kind of bring together that passion to fly, but also that passion to create cool products and bring them together. And I think make a meaningful difference for safety, for the operational capability of airplanes, and, and really just making it more accessible to more people. What does this technology mean to pilots? And I think the first question is, what does it mean to the passengers? This is enabling a passenger to control an outcome. And you need to pause and think about that because typically passengers on the airplane don't feel like they have a lot of control. They can affect a few things around them, but the outcome of the flight is probably not one they feel like they have a lot of control over. This provides a sense of control and capability for the passengers to affect the outcome of the flight in case a pilot can't for whatever reason that could be. My first time flying Autoland, it was exciting because I got to see something that we'd all been working on for so many years come to fruition. The autopilot does its thing, it lands on the center line, it tracks and brakes, and it, it just feels like a pilot is working on the airplane and doing its thing. It's honestly startling how uneventful an Autoland is. The Autoland project has really been the development of the automatic flight systems that we use uh, to safely get the airplane from a location in flight down onto the ground and stop. So when you actually push the button on the airplane. Emergency Autoland activated. The Emergency Autoland system is controlling the aircraft and will land at the safest nearby airport. Please remain calm. The first thing the aircraft does is stabilizes its current condition. So it basically goes to a wings level, holding its current speed. So there's a sophisticated algorithm that takes into account um, where the aircraft is and tries to route around any terrain, uh, weather that might be in the area to find the most suitable and safest landing location in the minimum amount of time. Once it determines where it wants to go, the flight management system essentially generates a path to that location that avoids the terrain, that avoids the weather. The autopilot engages in a mode to follow that path and goes on its way. Your airplane has begun maneuvering into position for the final approach to landing. The emergency auto land system is controlling all flight functions. You won't need to do anything. It scales well for low time pilots to high time pilots for different aircraft types. It's really not about even how capable you are. Anybody is subject to a medical condition or something that can happen when, when they're flying the aircraft and for the remaining occupants to be able to have a safe outcome in that type of condition benefits everybody who participates in the aviation industry. My favorite part of working on Autoland has been really working with the team. We have so many different passionate people that really care about how the system functions since it's going to make such a huge impact in customers' lives. I think it's really in our DNA to evolve our products, to, to innovate, to make new things. Um, safety enhancing capabilities is just a core part of what we're all about here. There's a hundred engineers, program managers, systems engineers, software engineers, flight test folks, just a ton of people that were involved in this project that have made it successful. My name is Eric Sargent. I was one of the development flight test pilots. Probably done close to about 800 auto lands. The more challenging conditions that we've had to flight test, uh, we've had to take it on upsloping runways, downsloping runways, tested it in snow and ice. You know, everything that a pilot might encounter, uh, now we have to make sure it works all the time so that when the pilot isn't there, that it'll get down safely. There's a lot that needs to go into it to make it so that the passenger just hits a button and everything works. One of the more challenging aspects of the system is the communication path. We brought in a number of non-pilots. We ran them through simulations of the system, tried to gauge what information they would need to see and hear in the aircraft to feel like they understood what was going on, not to be panicked. So we got a lot of really good feedback during those evaluations uh, and kind of iterated on a, a final user interface that was really adapted to a passenger in a high-stress environment uh, for an emergency condition. We want to make sure that the passengers are hearing things that are reassuring and help them understand that the system is doing what it's supposed to be doing. The emergency auto land system is controlling the aircraft and will land at the safest nearby airport. Please remain calm. Avoid touching the flight controls which may interfere with auto land. It's about the non-flying passengers on board the airplane. So we can't speak in pilot lingo. We have to we need to say we're going to deviate and we're going to take you and land you safely at Kansas City International Airport. And this is what you can expect. If you'd like to communicate with someone, here's how you can do that. 
we say it very slowly. We say it in graphical images. And we try to confirm people that everything will be okay with this. But at the same time, also letting other aircraft flying in the vicinity or ATC know what the airplane is doing. Emergency Autoland has already informed air traffic control of your situation. So really thinking through who gets to hear what at what point and how ATC can work with these aircraft to have a safe resolution. Your airplane has begun maneuvering into position for the final approach to landing. The emergency auto land system is controlling all flight functions. You won't need to do anything. Ensure your seatbelt is tight. Stow any loose articles prior to landing. You'll arrive at your destination shortly. This isn't a normal day-to-day -day thing. You need to only use this where the pilot's not able to adequately perform their functions. We want to encourage pilots, don't be afraid to use that. I'd much rather you use this system safety feature and then perhaps explain why you had to use it when you land safely afterwards than to think you can control yourself out of a situation which maybe you're in your, over your head. So we have all this technology, all these building blocks to do this. Now it's our obligation to carry it out and make it available to the flying public. If we make it tangible, we make it real. These aren't just ideas we come up with in the lab. We make them into products. We knew we could make this a repeatable type event that preserves the integrity of obviously not only the occupants of the airplane, but the aircraft as well. You know, we want people to be able to walk away from the airplane back to their loved ones. And that's the goal and the bar that we've set, that it will be a safe landing and outcome no matter what.